Okay, so today we're going to show you a Werner Swayze Norton or Werner Swayze. Um, this is a universal cylindrical grinder. It's a 14 by 36. That's the work area, 36 inches long, 14 inches high. Uh, you have a live dead center uh, workhead. You have uh, machine is currently wired for 440 volts. You have a swing down ID uh, attachment as well as your external grinding wheel. This headstock can swivel uh, to different degrees and the, ba the, the main ba bottom base along with the V and the flat can be rotated also. So it's got a double compound. Um, you've got a rapid, a hydraulically controlled rapid back and forth to position your part at the onset of grinding. Um, down here are your controls. This is the control to start and stop the table. Each time we reverse, we feed. There's a selector switch over here to set the feed, whether you want to feed on both sides or left side or just the right side. Uh, the speed of your table is adjusted here. You have a couple of tarries or dwells that you can use. This is a hand wheel for your longitudinal table if you want to use this by hand. I'm going to stop this for a minute. Your workhead is live and dead. This is what starts the workhead. You have on this side live, excuse me, dead. So we have the spindle is locked, but the outer part is turning. This is for turning uh, parts between center. You also have a jog, just pushing it forward and a potentiometer down here to, to, to speed up and slow up that speed. If you wanted to do live, uh, turning a, a chuck, then you would flip this lever over to the L or live position and spin the head completely around. There is a locating pin we have that goes in here. This is just for the video. And on this side now you can mount a face plate or a chuck. The height here is uh, 14 inches. The distance between is 36. Uh, the table has got a swivel, and over here you've got a whole apparatus uh, for finding zero once you establish it. Uh, you got a dial indicator. You got a very nice, actually a very nice setup here on how this is done. Your adjustment is right here. You put an Allen wrench in there, and you can make your, your table adjustments. Uh, we've gone through this whole machine, so everything is, is nice and easy to move. The swivel table, tabletop has been taken off. The workhead can be slid in and out relatively easy. Uh, you've got a fold down. Well, let me just start the ID wheel real quickly, the OD wheel, excuse me. There's your OD running. I'm going to shut that off. So we also had the entire uh, wheel slide taken apart uh, just to make sure everything was clean and that we could uh, we could move this. They give you a little hole in the back where you, you put a piece of uh, a piece of pipe in here because it is pretty heavy, even though it's clean. Doesn't have any air assist. Uh, this is all cleaned up nice. Put this wherever you want it, as well as the bottom slide, which is a little bit heavier to move because it has so much weight on it. But it will move if you need to move it. Uh, there's a, a solid stop here on zero. It also has a rapid or a course adjustment over here to move this whole slide in and out. So we've gone all through this, taken this all apart, re-greased everything. So now you can make your adjustments with this. And then you'd lock it down here when you're through, lock it down, lock it down. That's pretty much it. This is the hydraulic unit right here. The motor, the pump, the reservoir is inside the machine. Uh, this is your spindle oil, and this is your lubricating oil. Back here is your adjustment for your flat and your V for the table, and your flat and your V for the, the cross slide. And when we had that all apart, we adjusted that so just enough oil 
is going to the waste so we don't flood it and have a problem with that. Uh, your tailstock, your taper adjustment. I'm going to start the table up again. You get your infeed, and as you turn this little screw in down here, you can adjust how much that feeds each, each pulse. Or you can put this at 6 o'clock and shut the feed off altogether. This lever here just allows you to reverse the directions. It's a really nice machine. Uh, you know, they built, built very well. Actually, it was a pleasure to work on it. Uh, these old American machines, you can't beat them. They were built to last forever. And this is testimony. I think this is 1951. Still running great. All cleaned up and ready to go. All right, let me just stop it. I'll show you one last thing, the fold down ID attachment. You want to be careful with this. It's got a special guard that folds down. It's got a flat belt here that you need to put on here. And put this back. And we want to switch to internal and start that up. Well, that's your internal grinder. Do any kind of work you want. Stops, you just push them and they move. Well, that could be a little. And there you have it. That's the Norton, Werner Swayze Norton, 14 by 36 universal cylindrical grinder. Thank you very much.